Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. So in today's video, we're taking a look at Origin OS 3 running on top of Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Origin OS 3 is built on top of Android 13 and this is Vivo's Android skin that's used only in Vivo's China phones. For Vivo devices launching outside of China, the phone uses FunTouch OS. This is quite important because I just got word that the Vivo X90 Pro Plus is indeed going to launch internationally very soon but that version of the phone will run on FunTouch OS which means it will look quite different from the software that I have here. So in this video I want to go over some of the key main features of Origin OS. I'm actually a fan of this software. One of the key selling points of Origin OS is that it is a very rigid heavy OS and all these rigids are called nano kits because they do a little bit more than conventional rigids on Android phones. Almost all the first party nano kits for Origin OS are interactive. I have this uh, photo gallery rigid right here. I can cycle through all the photos in real time. So down here I have a calendar rigid and same thing I can cycle through the date. You have something like right here it's a weather widget same thing you can cycle through to see real-time temperature of your location all the way through the next day. Now this is the to-do widget and it's really cool it's completely interactive whenever you swipe down on it, on it it will begin recording your voice so you can just say something really quick and it will keep it as a to-do list. Unfortunately I can't really take advantage of this because this only supports Mandarin Chinese when I don't speak Mandarin Chinese that well. Everything is interactive including the recorder app and you even get an audio wave bar. So if I'm speaking louder, you see the wave bar actually expands. I can even pause recording right here without needing to jump into the widget and then begin recording again. And when I'm done, just tap on the check mark and the audio recording is saved. So because Vivo is one of the more popular phone brands in China, I believe is either number three or number four in China right now. Actually I was wrong. According to research by Counterpoint, Vivo is actually number one in China right now by market share, at least in the last two quarters of 2022. There are obviously a lot of third party supports too when it comes to Chinese apps. So Yuku, it's basically China's version of YouTube. Yuku has a rigid or nano kit on Origin OS that allows you to cycle through all the different videos too. The second cool feature about Origin OS is that everything is highly customizable. This includes everything aesthetically from the shape of the icon, shape of the shortcut toggles, the size of the icons, how they look, the UI color scheme, all of that, to also just animations of the phone. If you jump into dynamic effects, you can customize everything from the animations for the fingerprint scanner to animations to how the phone unlocks to how the home screen cycles through. So now I'm in the screen where I can customize the gestures. As you can see, the gestures are broken into different segments of the screen. So you have this long swipe right here, you have a swipe from the corner, a swipe from the bottom, and another swipe right here from the lower thirds of the screen, a swipe right here in the general right side, and you have two swipe sections up top. So obviously I hold my phone with my left hand, so I'm gonna set swiping from the left side as going back. That's just a natural gesture, but then I can customize the right side of the swipes to do something else. For example, right now by default, if you swipe from the right, it is still to go back, but I can change it to launch Origin OS's music player. So now if I swipe from the right, I jump straight into Origin OS's music player. You can also jump into floating window really easily with a swipe up from the left corner, just like this. You can launch the app into a floating window and so far, this seems to work with every single app, which is cool because um, a lot of apps would not go into mini win window mode on FunTouch OS, but that is not the case here on Origin OS. The third cool feature of Origin OS is that its default photo gallery app has some of the most in-depth and customizable editing features that I've ever seen in a phone. A lot of these features on other phones, you have to download or pay for a third party photo editing app to be able to do. So one of the cool things that Origin OS can do is that it can analyze the photo and identify each person individually. So if I jump into beauty mode and I go into something like makeup, so right now it has identified that there's like six different people in the shot. So I can apply beauty makeup to just each individual person. So right here you can do stuff like lipstick. So sorry to my friends, I'm about to put lipstick on them. I can just tap on this guy, my friend right here. So you see I can put lipstick just on him and it does not apply to this guy next to me unless I tap on his face. It's not just lipstick too, you can also apply eyebrows. It actually looks pretty natural. So this is my friend. So, so you see I can make his eyebrows look a little bit thicker. 
compared to before. That's not all, you can do all these other stuff like slimming the face. So you see right now I can slim my friend's face. I can make his eyes a little bit larger. So you can see the difference between before and after. But it's not just all about beauty filters. You can also apply changes individually to just one person in the frame. So right now, let's tap again, my friend right here. So I've isolated him from the rest of the frame. I can make him larger, for example, and then just put him here. And I'm gonna tap on this frame right here. I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller, just for comedic effect. But check this out. The AI will also automatically fill in the background. You can also apply filters to just that individual person. So I can make my friend a little bit brighter or dimmer. I can change his contrast. All right, so that about wraps it up for this overview of Origin OS on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. I am a fan of Origin OS, even if aesthetically speaking, it does look a little bit similar to iOS or iPad OS, but I think it's a lot more customizable and intuitive than FunTouch OS. And whether it's the animations or the interactive widgets, the UI just feels a lot livelier than something like Samsung's One UI or the stock Google Pixel launcher. There's just more things you can do on the home screen and I am a fan of that. So that wraps up for this video. I have a lot more content coming up, including, you know, very soon, all the latest Chinese phones are gonna come out and you can expect me to get my hands on all of them. So there's gonna be a lot of content. So if you enjoyed this video, or you want to keep up to date with latest gadgets, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.